here we've got that P320 slash M17 SIG style blaster from gelblastergun.com. I've showed it to you in the past. I decided I wouldn't to do a little work to it. I wanted to see if I could make something kind of custom for it, which I haven't done much with, uh, with this type of pistol blaster at least. So let me show you what I came up with. Right, first you may remember this had a built-in hop-up that basically went right to the end here. And it was a nice pop-up, it had three little adjustments, but I wasn't seeing much difference using that. So I took that out. And then the inner barrel was only to about here. That hop-up took up part of it. And so what I did was basically 3D printed some pieces to mate a longer barrel to that problem was I couldn't replace that barrel completely because it was extra, it's extra thin. It's only like an eight millimeter outside diameter with our typical blaster uh, inner barrels around nine and a half millimeter outside diameter. And so none of those would fit in into the spot. So I had to reuse the piece that was there and basically 3D print uh, an outer barrel style piece that went over it they're kind of sleeved together in there if that makes sense i wasn't 100 sure it was going to work but it's actually working out really well so that's cool and i did that so that i could add a threaded tip here because so i wanted to add a threaded tip but i wanted an inner metal running all the way through it so the inner metal runs all the way through that tip and that way you can put a tracer on it if you want to okay and then I, I modified a piece i found so that we could have this little I guess rail riser slash bracket rail that can go here on the pistol. So it, it just attaches to the bottom rail. Okay, and it gives us a spot up here for a sight of some sort, an optic of some sort, and then I just went ahead and put a laser down there still. So I think it turned out pretty good. This was just kind of modifying what I found. I wanted to beef it up and make it thicker to make sure it had plenty of strength. And then I had to adjust sizing rails. So basically I built that using uh, a model I found and then really customizing it. And then this was just designed on what seemed to make sense so that I could get a thread of tip on there. Should be fine with the tracer. Uh, this isn't a very heavy tracer. I think that's a good idea too, just because I don't want to put a lot of weight on it anyway. But the way I built it, it should be fine. The issue is just, you know, you have the slide is going to go back and forth. However, it's not an issue using it right now, so I don't think it'll run into any problems either. Uh, worst case scenario, if it does, I would just switch this to just a very lightweight fake suppressor. All right, so there you go from JoeBlasterGun.com. Customized SIG M17 slash P320. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think it turned out pretty cool. Of course, I'll do a demo, play with it a little bit, show it to you in action. Comments, questions, post them below. Like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and participate in those monthly giveaways where you can win over $300 in blasters and accessories. Thanks.